Mission Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. Here in Thailand, I see this all the time. People will will say, well, brother, when you first arrive on the mission field, it's going to take seven years for a Thai person to come to Christ because to be Thai is to be Buddhist. And that has never been my mantra. I kind of rather hold to the thought to be Thai is to be loved by God. And so this paradigm that it takes seven years, it's, you, you dig yeah. in, it's going to be a long, hard road. I don't like yeah. that. Rather, no, and, and if you have that attitude, it probably is going to be a long, hard road. Yeah, sure. And so I, I would, yeah, and that's exactly, you know, when my dad first came to Western Canada, people said, Henry, you, you know, it's tough here. It's just tough to survive. You, hmm. You're... And you're going to have to get a lot bigger before you can ever start another church, you know, plant another church, because you're you're way too small to do that. And then he just kept starting other churches, started 38 altogether. And uh, wow. and people, every time they'd say, Henry, you're crazy to do that. That's not possible. And my dad said, I'm getting tired of telling me all, that all the things we're doing are actually <laughs> impossible. You know, it's, yeah. it, it, it is if you have their attitude, but it's not. And, and you know, and the one thing I hear often is you'll, you'll be in a leadership conference and some inspirational guy will say, you just need to dream big dreams for God. You know, you just need to have a vision that's big enough to honor God. But years ago, God gave me really my, my theme verse in the Bible is Ephesians 3.20, which says God is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than you could ever dream, you could ever envision, you could ever imagine. So you're never going to come up with a plan that is bigger than the plan God wants to do through your life. So quit trying to come up with a big plan and just get on God's agenda. Just listen to him. If you, if you enter into the throne room of heaven and you start to hear what God has on his heart for your kids, for your church, for your country, you're going to be embarrassed and just kind of want to get rid of that big plan you came up with and say, God, I'm done with that. I had no idea of what, what you really wanted to do through my life. And so, you know, I have people all the time asking me, well, what is your plan for your ministry? What's your plan for the future? And I would say, I'm scared to come up with a plan, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I want to be organized. I want to be intentional. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to just be totally careless. But I, I hold my plans very, very loosely because mm -hmm. God has just surprised me way, way too many times where I thought I knew what would be a great thing to do this year. And then God introduced some stuff, opened some doors that just blew away our puny little plans. And, yeah. and I just realized my little plans are not going to turn the world back to Christ. Uh, God's plans can. And so I, I want to spend my life just pursuing what God has. And uh, I'll tell you what, you'll never lack things to do. You'll, mm -hmm. you'll never sit around bored saying, is this all? Uh, You'll, God will stretch you right to the limit. And he, he knows what your capacity is. He knows what your limits are. And God's not going to waste your life, not for a moment. And so mm -hmm. you just begin pursuing him and keeping your eyes open. And uh, you'll find every day is just filled to the limit with uh, what God has he planned since the beginning of time. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.